Hey Pisces, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are doing your second week of July general love reading. Now keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you all's energy, the song that I got was 21 Questions by 50 Cent featuring Nate Dogg. 50 Cent happens to be a Cancer and um, Nate Dogg was a Leo. You know what I was looking at because I had to look it up because I never knew his Zodiac sign, Nate Dogg. I never realized how handsome that man is. That man is so handsome. Well, was so handsome. Rest his soul. But somebody could be dealing with someone whose name is Nate. Someone's last name literally could be Dog, or someone can have a, I'm saying a pit bull. Someone can have a pit bull, or someone that you're dating has a pit bull. I'm getting it also. Um, and I also want to put this out here before I get started with you guys reading. I'm doing a discount reading sale today, 7-7-24, July 7, 2024. Discount reading sale for the 7-7 Energy Portal. Um, the link is in the description box below. You want to go ahead and look for the Etsy link. Click it. Once you get to the Etsy shop, find the thumbnail of the white dandelion with the blue background. You will click that and you should see multiple tabs for reading options. You want to scroll down until you see 7-7 reading sale as that is the discounted price. The sale started at 8 a.m. and it will end at midnight, okay? Once midnight strikes, the price goes back to the regular um, amount. Okay, so it, again, if you want to participate in a discount reading sale, make sure you check out my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. Now, with this, I heard that it's time that the two of you really got to know each other, like for real, for real. The 21 questions, like go ahead, just sit down and just ask questions. Like you guys need to just sit down and go through it with the questions. Because let me show you something. And I actually like this energy, to be quite honest with you. I like it quite a bit. There are two um, divine counterparts in tarot, the emperor and the empress, and then the hierophant and the high priestess. And if you notice at the bottom of the deck, you have the hierophant, so that's one of our divine counterparts. And at the very back, you got the high priestess. Now, here's the thing. When I move this, they're not going towards each other. And I didn't even think to put it in any type of position, which means they're not seeing each other for who they truly are. So you need to start asking questions. Now, the part that stood out to me is the hook of the song. The hook starts off when Nate Dogg says, girl, I know it's easy to love me now, but would you love me if I was down and out? Would you still have love for me? The down and out part definitely made me think about finances, okay? And this may, that makes a lot of sense to get this energy, okay? The hair fine is very wise, very stable, very secure, very calculated. And if you see how he's dressed in the best of adornments and garnishments, that means it's someone who's well off financially. He's even dressed in basically gold here. And, you know, gold is about abundance. I feel like for some of you all, you may not know what this person's financial standards are, what their credit score is, how much they make. And it may seem like, well, why would that matter? Because even with this energy, if you look here, the high priest is all knowing. She knows what's going on. But the book is closed, which means she hasn't opened up the, you know, to read the data or find out some type of facts. And she's just going with the flow. Her eyes are closed. She's just coasting. That's like seeing a situation with rose-colored glasses, right? And at least in this situation, it's like, okay, I'm just going with the flow of this because she's just going with the flow. But they're saying, you need to know this. And the reason being, because like I said, these are divine counterparts. And if you guys are not on the same page, it's going to be hard for you guys to merge and become one because they merge and become one. That is a unit. Those are divine counterparts. It may be very difficult for you to be with this person because I'm seeing like talking about building a future. If you don't know if this person got jacked up credit, you have to carry their credit. If you don't know if this person got hella credit card debt or all types of debts out there, that will affect you too. If you guys merge and become one and start merging your resources and incomes, that's going to affect you. So those are questions that you need to ask because I'm definitely seeing something, you know, the way that book is closed, it makes me think about bookkeeping. Somebody's not good at bookkeeping with their finances here, okay? Someone's first, middle, last initial could be B, T, J, P, R, S, W, also H, okay? So we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the moon. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Six of Cups. You know what I'm hearing? And I'm, this is a card of reconciliation. It's also a card of people that you have history with in a past life and this lifetime. Very peaceful rapport. The two of you feel like giddy little kids with each other. But then I also feel like you guys could also have children that's around the same age bracket also. And you're merging expenses and things like that with children. Or 
I'm also going to tell you because you have these two children here without a parent. Some of you all, I'm going to be, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. You may be dealing with somebody who has children and they're not in their life. They're there alone. There's no parents there. And I don't typically get that with this card. This is quite a beautiful and peaceful and tranquil card. But it's, it, you know, going back to that 21 questions, it's something you need to ask. There's something that you need to ask because you, some of you guys can be deal, dealing with a deadbeat mom or deadbeat dad. Seriously. Not claiming that for you, but I mean, you know, it's something that you don't know. I'm trying to tell you. So let's see what we get for a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. And I don't feel like it's all this horrible situation, but it's just, you won't know until you ask. Something is definitely involved in finances. You want to ask these questions before you just jump into something. Just jump off the cliff, okay? Yeah, somebody has some bad... There, it's something with mismanagement of money. I'm getting that. Someone's not good at money. It could be like <laughs> how I used to be before I actually took stuff seriously. And I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a Gemini. Geminis know how to make money and we spend it just as quickly. I was very bad with that and I didn't realize how to really manage my money and things like that until I was like, okay, I'm ready to buy property and things like that. So it could be somebody who had the mentality like I used to have, like, okay, I'm always going to make money. I'm always going to be good because I have a million one hustles and this, that, and other stuff. But then you're blowing through the money and then your credit isn't stable and then this and this and this and this. You know what I'm saying? So it could be something like that. And then, but it's like, okay, at this big age, we need things to be established, but you may not know this about that person, or this may be you. You got the death card, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, um, someone rising Venus, but also the death card of ending. This person could um, have some endings going on in their life also that you're unaware of, or they could have be some skeletons in their closet. You got a skeleton here. There could be some skeletons in their closet that they haven't told you about also. First and the last initial, C, G, M, W, D, or H. Okay, I just heard Harold. Hall, someone's last name is Hall also. So let's go ahead and get your major arcana, which is the moon. Yeah, okay, let me tell you something. Let's go back to this first. You have this, uh, Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, victory. That bird is a messenger. You guys need to have a big conversation. That's a big sword. There's conversation that you guys need to have. Like, literally sit down and write out some questions. And you know what? I've heard this before, like, when I do readings, personal readings and things like that, and people ask me questions, and I, I often get like, well, I wanted to ask this person this, or I want to ask this person that, but I I, didn't, I felt scared to say it, or I didn't want to come off as like being overbearing. And it's like, if you bumping uglies with somebody, nothing should be off limits. You know what I'm saying? You should be able to tell this person how you feel, because if this is someone that you want to build a life with, then what's with the restrictions? You're not restricting yourself sexually. You're not restric restricting yourself emotionally. You're not restricting yourself energetically. So why are you restricting yourself? And a lot of times it comes down to the fact that people restrict themselves because they don't want to turn the person off by saying something that they may deem could be offensive or trigger this person. And then it causes a rift between them. But it's like, it's better you find out now than get deep in and then later on realize you didn't know this person at all. So I'm, I'm just going to put that out there also. So let's go ahead again. We want to get the moon. The card that comes before. And the, look, look, look. I want you guys to see this. Remember before they weren't facing each other? You and somebody is moving in the direction of marriage and long-term commitment. So it needs to be talked about. Look, right behind it. Four of Wands, marriage and long-term commitment. There definitely could be a merging of children. So I'm going to say again, ask those questions. Also, I'm hearing you need to ask someone if they want to have children. That may have been a conversation that neither one of you talked about. That was something that I dealt with a lot in dating. I got my tubes out, baby. I ain't having no more kids. I got a boy. I got a girl. That's perfect. I will tell people in the door, I ain't having no more kids. And I will tell my friends about that. And they were like, you just came straight out and said it? Absolutely. Because there's people who like, I want kids. You know, I, 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 if I'm dating someone new and I have a partner, I want to have a child or children with my partner. I'm not doing it, so I'll tell you in the door. I don't care if you feel like it's a turnoff. I'm going to tell you in the door because I don't want you to think that you're going to sway me and change my mind. It's not going to happen. I don't want it. If you want it, then I'm not the one for you. I don't care how much chemistry or whatever we have. That's a non-negotiable for me. So, again, you need to talk about your negotiables and non-negotiables and things like that. That could be a big deal. I'm going to say again because I stopped here unintentionally with the will of fortune. There's something with money. This person may be a bit of a fool. Monkeys could be foolish. You know, this person could be a bit of a fool when it comes to their finances. So, again, we want the moon, the card that comes before, and the card that comes after. So, right in front of you, you have the four of, I'm telling you, some, some with this person, the money. Okay? Also, for some of y'all, you need to find out if this person is 100%, 10 toes down, 
like wanting to be with you for you or is, is is there some type of ulterior motive look at his eyes i always say he looks very sneaky very deceptive i don't trust this person here there's your card and then you have the knight of pentacles the slowest moving knight in the whole entire deck of tarot is this person's money funny okay yeah eight of pentacles actual nine to five putting it work money 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 what i say the part of the song that stood out for me is girl it's easy to love me now but would you love me if i was down and out would you still have love for me so somebody's money is moving slower somebody could be underemployed or they're working a job that just he pays just enough to pay the bills but this is not something this is not a career this is not something that would be very sustaining for a family structure also, I'm getting something where somebody may have been laid off and they didn't tell you. Yeah, the chariot, Cancerian energy. We are currently in cancer season right now. I feel like if you want to move forward and have a future with this person, you guys need to talk about it right now. That needs to happen. Major Arcana, so definite. Let's part the deck. Yep, again, did we not have the Ace of Swords? Did we stop right there? Well, there was the Ace of Swords. Yeah, right here. Ace of Swords, remember? So Ace of Swords, again... Truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, victory. There's a need for some type of conversation here. A big conversation. That looks like at least 21 questions worth of uh, conversation there, right? There, something needs to be brought up. Also, someone may have a 21-year-old child. You may have known this person since you were 21, but then just started dating now also. Something about the 21st may stand out as well, 21st of this month. Somebody's birthday may be the 21st of this month. They could be, yeah, because 21st of this month would be Cancer. And we just have the chariot, so you could be dealing with a, a July 21st Cancerian. Bottom of the deck, you got the King of Swords. I'm telling you, ask some questions. Sword up is just sword down is no. Swords, communication, and mental. Ask those questions. Hell, I'm even also getting like, ask this person, do they even want to get married? Kings and queens, they don't want something short term or short lived, they want long term relationships. So you need to ask. And then also, I'm getting something where there's definitely a male figure who wants to know about the male figures in some in a female's life. Like, how is your father? How is your brothers? How is your relationships? Because I feel like they're like, okay. And I'm going to tell you this is a true story. I had a, I, a friend or associate, rather, that I, I used to be really cool with. And I was talking to him one day. And he said, literally, if you grew up without a father, I won't date you. He said that. And I thought that was very interesting because I got what he was saying. But also, if you're a person like me, who my father passed when I was 12. My mother never remarried. So that means I'm a bad person. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it to him, that formulated a thought process about how that female figure would be. He literally said, if you do not have a predominant father figure in your life growing up, I won't date you. I don't care how much I like you, I won't date you. Again, that was his non-negotiable. I keep getting like somebody talking about non-negotiables. Okay? That's a big deal. Again, I'm not bashing his opinion about that because I do understand the father's place in the life. I get that. Um, and having very positive male figures in your life, that, that affects everyone. But everyone has a different opinion about that. I'm just going to say for someone, the conversation needs to be had because you guys may be of two different minds about upbringing and family structures and things like that. And that needs to be spoke about. Because if you're dealing with someone who's very family oriented and you're not, and you didn't grow up too close with your family, it may be very odd to you that every Sunday they have dinner with their family or every, you know, couple of months they do a big thing, a date night or family night or whatever with their family. They may be odd to you. And that would be a very hard thing for somebody like that because they want their partner with them at those functions. So that needs to be talked about. Let's get a clarifier for the Four of Pentacles. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. Let's get a clarifier for, okay, and that flew out and you had two. Yep, you had two. So we're going to take this, the bottom, for the first card and then the second. Okay, so your first card is the Knight of Swords. I'm telling you, that conversation needs to happen sooner than later. That conversation needs to happen. Knights are either going on to a battle or an adventure, but more than anything, it's some type of journey. So it looks like this person wants to move forward or somebody, there's, there's some forward movement happening and it could be happening very quick, but you need to ask questions. What's going on with your money? What's going on with your finances? Are you stable? Um, hell, some of you guys may want to ask this person, how is the father figure in their life? It could be flipped. Like, say, for instance, if you are someone who dates a male, whether you're male or female, whatever, you may want to ask, how was their father figure? Because then, okay, did you see your father figure holding the family down in a positive way where they were taking care of the home and, and making sure they had enough money and this, that, and the third? Did you see that? Or did you see somebody who's just quick to spend money and blow it? Because then if that's what you see a lot of the time, 
A lot of times people can change, but that's a very conscious decision to make. But others, un subconsciously and unconsciously, they're doing the same thing. They're just repeating what they've seen growing up. So again, there, there needs to be a talk about it. There's definitely something with a father figure. There needs to be a talk about it. Somebody also, and this is very bizarre because I never got to, with this card, somebody also has a very aggressive baby's father or ex that is like likes to just pop up and wreak havoc. Wreak havoc, and that's not for everybody, but I'm, I'm getting that for somebody out there. And they have three of swords reverse. So you have the page, oh, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles and then the Three of Swords in reverse. Again, I feel like somebody is going through some type of difficulty with their finances, but they may not be showing it. He's head to toe in armor, which means you can't even see what this person looks like. Something is being hidden. And they don't want to tell you, like, either they lost a job or their finances are not where it is. Somebody's hiding something or they're not sharing something with you, and that's still hiding. That's omission is hiding. That's keeping something. That's, that's a lie to a degree. So you need to talk to this person and ask those questions directly. I, again, I'm going to say I'm always confused when people say that that you don't you shouldn't just talk about things on the first date because you're going to run somebody off. Okay, good. And I'm, I'm very much like that. You guys know I'm a Gemini. I feel like if it's going to run you off, bye. Peace up. A-town down. Skedaddle. You got to go because if it ran your way, then that's something that you're saying you're not willing to deal with. Why should I have to try to hold on to you like, oh, no, don't go. No, if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work. If you don't like certain things, if those are your non-negotiables or that's something that you can't work with, why would I waste your time? Why would you waste my time? You can't force a situation. I mean, you can, but it's, it's going to lead to this upright. So you would rather know, or at least I would rather know up front. Like, up front and very directly. I just want to know that. Bottom of the deck, you have the world card, travel distance for a movement. Before you move forward, you will want to know the ins and outs of this person's world. And that's just the truth. You got Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio energy here. Back of the deck, you have the Queen of Swords. Remember, early on, we had the King of Swords um, in the pre-shuffle. You have Queen of Swords. I believe we had the Queen of Swords in the pre-shuffle also. But again, it's like, it's time for you to speak on it. That sword is upright. Be direct. You see how she has her hand out like, this is what it is, and this is what it's going to be. Male or female, be direct. Be honest. Tell the person how you feel. Ask those questions. I don't think any question is a hard question to ask. I don't, I don't believe that's the case. I feel like the only thing that's hard is learning later on that you should have asked something that could have alleviated a whole bunch of heartbreak later on down the line. Okay? So, Pisces, Summer Rising, Venus, and the visuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to participate in the discount reading sale, make sure you click the Etsy link in the description box below. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.